Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on how to hook into Psycho Publish and Event. During this tutorial we will create two functions. The first one will link to Publish and Event that is raised locally on Psycho CM servers. And the second one will link to Publish and Remote Event that is raised remotely on Psycho CD servers. This can be used for example to update robots.txt file from Psycho item with a text field. To hook into Psycho Publish and Event, we need to create a class and a function that we will call when Publish and Event is raised. In this class, I've created two functions. The first one on Publish and will be called when Publish and Event is raised, and the second one will be called when Publish and Remote Event is raised. Now we need to create a patch file that will add our custom handlers to Publish and and publish and remote events. If you are new to Sitecore and you haven't used patch files yet, you can find a link to a separate video in the description below. But basically we use patch files to add, remove, or even replace processors, handlers, and change cycle configuration without changing the original file. So we create a separate file that we use to add and remove processors and handlers and change the configuration. In this file, we are adding a custom handler before Psycho publishing HTML cache cleaver. We need to specify a type, and this is the class I've showed you before, and the method that we are going to call on publish end. And we are doing the same thing for publish and remote event. We are adding a handler before Psycho publishing HTML cache cleaver, and we are specifying a class and the method that we are going to call when this event is raised. Now I'm going to show you core master and web databases because Psycho stores all the events in the event queue table. So if we take a look at core database, as you can see there is the event queue table and the same there is also the event queue table in the master database. and web database also contains the event queue table. Now I'm going to check my current Sitecore configuration and I can do it by going to Sitecore admin show config page. This page displays my current Sitecore configuration including patch files. So if I search for PWE, as you can see our handlers have been added to publish end event and publish end remote event. As you can see, it also displays the config file name, so it's very easy to find out from which file this change is coming from. So now let's set a breakpoint at the beginning of onPublish and function, and I'm going to publish one of the items from Sitecore to see if this function will be called. I'm going to publish sample item. As you can see on publish and function has been called and inside of this function you can add your custom code depending on your requirements. You can check for example the item ID, the template ID and do something specifically for one item or for group of items only. Just to quickly summarize what we've covered during this tutorial, we've created two functions. We've linked the first one with publish end event that is raised locally on Sitecore CM servers. We've linked the second one with publish and remote event that is raised remotely on Sitecore CD servers. And as I've mentioned before, this can be used for example to update robots.txt file. In the next tutorial, we will create a custom event. So stay tuned, thanks for watching, and I see you in the next one.